Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In the last video I was communicating with the serial monitor uh, on the Arduino IDE with an Arduino board using a sketch that included the AREST library and hopefully I'm going to jump from a serial USB communication to Bluetooth with the help of this Adafruit NRF8001 Blue Fruit BLE breakout board. I just need to solder these uh, header pins on. And the last pin. So here's the circuit that I was sending and receiving data from through the serial port and I want to tear this down because um, I guess we're going to step back a little bit from the complexity of the hardware but we're going to uh, step up with the complexity of how we're going to communicate. So it's going to be over Bluetooth with an Android tablet and I just want to wire this up so that uh, I'm able to turn an LED off with the tablet. So I've got the Adafruit NRF 8000 board. I have to take this and wire this up to the Arduino and then wire up an LED. And let's see if we can get this working. So here's my Samsung Galaxy tablet. I was finally able to get the uh, Gradle build finished and the app is now on this tablet. If you go in here, this is the, the app right there. Uh, I had to type in the sketch uh, to get that working. Also, um, the sketch again has the AREST library. It also has the Adafruit Bluetooth low energy library and so the only thing I'm using the serial cable for here the USB cable is for power so I, even this morning um, I thought I had it working I had the app on the tablet but it, it found it went out and found this Bluetooth module here but it was like it kept on looking for it. It kept on telling me it found this device. And when I entered in the commands that are exactly like the commands that I shown uh, in the last video for the serial communication, that hasn't changed. Uh, I wasn't getting any response. And then I found out that this resistor was not like a 330 ohm resistor or current limiting resistor it was like a 10k so I thought that had solved my problem still didn't work uh, I had this quick thought and I went in and the build for the app was for KitKat and I thought I had seen initially uh, the environment for this was the Android was um, Lollipop they've got these names it's another thing you have to start getting used to but I just looked into the settings on this and I have Android 7 so there's been a number of updates so Android is called Nougat I believe that's how you pronounce it but let's get into this program that again um, it doesn't do much but it was it's really satisfying when everything comes together so I'll click on this app here or I'll select this click on it I'll tap on it and we can see here, it's too bad, I don't know, do they have Camtasia that works on a tablet? It's scanning for devices, found device immediately, and then immediately I knew something had changed uh, once I built the app with the um, Lollipop SDK, because this had changed. Uh, so immediately said scanning, found the device, found UART service connected service discovery complete so now all I need to do this is a pain is tap on here and my keyboard comes up 
and I just need to type in those commands for uh, mode and digital. So once once I type in those commands, I can turn this LED on and off. Now you, you can imagine this is slow going because I have to alternate between these symbols and then the characters. So here I have mode, backslash, and then I have to go back to letters and designate pin 7 as an output and then say send. So it said it received. You can see that. It says send mode slash 7 slash output received. Now I have to backspace and then enter in the command for digital pin 7 either a 1 or a 0. So you can see here I've typed in slash digital backslash 0 backslash and I sent it and you can see there sent received and I sent it again and the LED is off so now I just need to get in here and backspace enter one backslash and then send again let's see what it says here received and something's not working okay finally um, I think I'm getting punchy this is isn't exactly a user-friendly uh, interface here so I think I might have not put this backslash on the end of the setting pin 7 to the output mode I don't know it wasn't working the LED wasn't going on and off it wasn't certain I plugged everything uh, plugged everything out and then plugged things back in reloaded software rebuilt the uh, gradle reloaded that and uh, I think that's probably what it what I did so it's off you can see there let me just go back set that to one and don't forget the backslash and then send and it's on So I'm controlling this LED from my tablet. Pretty cool. Let's see, backspace, set to zero again. Slash, and turn it off. There we go. So that's just the first step or the beginning of the possibilities of controlling your Arduino projects with Bluetooth. Uh, progressed from serial entering commands in through serial port communication to using this Galaxy tablet to talk to this uh, Adafruit Bluetooth module NRF8001 is that what it is and I'm able to turn this LED on and off remotely but you know although as simple as this might seem I can then hook this up to a motor I could activate a uh, solenoid, a relay, but the next step I think is going to be improving the human interaction or the interface instead of just entering these commands it would be nice just to tap on buttons instead of having to type in the commands so that'll be the next project is adding that feature better interaction, better human interface with some buttons to send these commands instead of having having to type them in. 
Uh, there is another project I think I can do before that though. And that involves the app um, I was able to successfully build, but I wasn't certain uh, if it was going to work or not uh, until I actually loaded it onto my Galaxy tablet. There is an emulation mode though that you can use in the Android Studio and it wasn't working and uh, I'll get into that in the next video and show you how I will solve that problem. But until then, if you found this video interesting, please subscribe, like and or comment and thanks for watching.